Yo, what up, what's poppin'? It's me, Josh Otusanya, here again. In this video, we're gonna talk about why Nigerians are so successful. Now, if you didn't know this already, apparently 60% of Nigerian Americans in the U.S. hold college degrees or greater, compared to the U.S. average of 30%. This is one of the many reasons why Nigerian Americans, Nigerians, are considered the most successful ethnic group in this country. Niger people, we are so good, though. Uh -huh. But it's not just in the professional field, too. But it's also in sports, entertainment, and more. Nigerians be everywhere. So as a result, people keep asking me, Yo, Josh, why are Nigerians so successful? So in my opinion, I break it down to a few things. African parents. There's this idea that your parents hustled and worked hard to put their kids into a situation where they could be successful and or to keep that success within the family or very, very strongly disciplined individuals. And like my parents are the most chill people of all time, like super chill, super relaxed. But they discipline me like crazy, while at the same time reinforcing values and beliefs and standards that they set for us, me and my, my siblings. Like it's super common in a lot of Nigerian homes for parents to push their kids towards very lucrative professional careers. That's why roughly 77% of all black doctors in the US are of Nigerian descent. Goodness gracious. My parents pushed me really hard. They stressed my grades, but I think at a certain point they realized I was just an average student. But I also played soccer a lot. So they put a lot of resources into, into me playing soccer and me trying to be the best soccer player I could be. And it was through soccer that I ended up getting an opportunity to go play division one soccer. And soccer was the vehicle that got me into a great school. And then I studied accounting. I got a, a degree in accounting. Next, I think this is huge. I think one of the reasons why Nigerians are so dang successful is that Nigerians or Africans in general, but Nigerians have an insane sense of community in this country, or as, as a whole, but an insane sense of community. Like my, even how my parents met each other. Yo, like my dad was living in the Seattle area. My mom was living in like the Rhode Island area, two different sides of America, but some random Nigerian that they knew in Texas just connected them. You know, it's like, it's like every state I've ever been to, my parents will be like, oh, I have a friend who lives there. <laughs> We're Nigerians, we bond with each other just for being Nigerian. We don't need to be related. Like I've been to parties where people have legit been like, oh, yo, you're Nigerian? I'm Nigerian too, yo, come party with us. Come over, man. So from what I've seen, like we look at each other as a massive family and as a result, we wanna help each other out. We wanna spread the wealth and keep the wealth within the community. Like for example, Yvonne Orji, if you know who she is, dope Nigerian woman. She's on HBO's Insecure. She also does stand up comedy as well. She's freaking dope. And she talks about, she talked about one time how one of the ways she got her foot into the door into entertainment, when she was living in New York, I believe, she actually messaged a Nigerian writer who was living in LA. And she said, yo, I noticed that we're both from the same tribe in Nigeria. Long story short, he hooked her up with her first writing job in Los Angeles, got her foot in the entertainment industry. Just off of being from the same tribe, we have a crazy sense of community. We wanna help one another out. We wanna help our fellow Naija. Next point that I have is a mentality thing. And I think it's reinforced by the continued success that Nigerians come to see in this country. But Nigerians have in general, like this cockiness. It's like, yo, I'm dope. I'm great, I'm fantastic, we're good at what we do. There's a phrase that's out there called Nigel no they carry last, which means we don't come second place, we don't lose, okay, we always win. So it's like the more successes we have, the more cocky and confident we get. But it's a good confidence because you can't achieve anything in life without that confidence, without that self-belief. And that's also instilled in us by our parents. Our parents expect us to believe in ourselves and work hard, work our balls off to be successful. Now this last point I wanna talk about is more targeted towards Nigerians who come from Nigeria to America, so they're not like first generation Nigerians. And it's that Nigerians see America as a land of legit opportunity with the understanding that opportunity doesn't just pop up all the time. You gotta take full advantage of opportunity. So when they come here, right, I mean, look, you take it for granted. Even myself, I grew up in this country. I, I had enough resources to even think about you know, achieving certain dreams or setting certain goals for myself. But when Nigerians come from a place of no opportunity or limited opportunity, and they come to all these resources, all these tools at their disposal, like, yo, I'm not wasting this at all. Whereas if you're just in a place where there's always opportunity, it's easier for you to kind of take that for granted. In the comment section down below, let me know what tools or resources within your own culture and heritage do you believe makes you successful. For more videos, click over here. Thank you so much for watching. Love you, peace. Now, if you ask me personally, there's a lot of different factors that determine what we become in life. So here 
or a few. Number one, your openness to evolve. Are you a person with a strong openness to change? Like I'll, I'll tell you straight up, like I'm someone who, I can be mad impressionable. Like 